an opportunity. Chad, my wig is up. Well, tell me about it. I don't care. Y'all don't think this is my hair, do you? <laughs> Sarah Jake's wig fell off her head while she was on stage committing sin. The sin I am talking about is her disobedience to the word of God. The scripture says in 1 Timothy 2 and verse 12, But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. Sarah Jake's is doing what the scriptures forbid her to do. And while doing this, her wig fell off. Do you think the woman with the issue of blood cared about her hair? Do you think the woman with the issue of blood cared about what she looked like? The woman, all right, I'm about to take it off. It ain't never, it ain't never. She tried to play it off as the wig was slipping off her head while she was so-called preaching. You could see her many times trying to hold it back from falling off, but it reached a point where she couldn't hold it back anymore, so she just finished taking it off. This goes to show us why a woman should be natural. If she had her own hair on in the first place, this would not have happened. Furthermore, if she was being obedient to scripture, she would not have been in the pulpit so-called preaching to people, and this whole scenario would not have happened. You could see how embarrassed she was but she tried to play it cool. These people take the word of God for a joke. It's like these days, everybody call themselves a preacher and they are doing everything that goes against what the scripture says. Wearing fake hairs, fake eyelashes and all these things are not what God wants for his people who should be striving to live holy. God says in Psalms 119 verse 104 that he hates every false way. Also, she's up there so-called preaching with organs playing behind her. That's another violation of the scriptures. For God says in the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter 32 and verse 4, Pour not out words where there is a musician, and shew not forth wisdom out of time. It ain't always gonna be pretty, but one thing's for sure, it's gonna always be God. And I don't care what they say about me, I care that he gets the glory when it's all said and done. There's so much things that she is doing wrong and T.D. Drake's her devilish father is one to be blamed because he is the one who so-called ordained her. Now she is picking up where he left off by deceiving people into believing lies. If I did not know that the hand of the Lord was on you, I would never do this. As Samuel's horn of oil anointed David, I so anoint you. And with every drop of oil that falls upon your head, may the strength and the power of the Almighty God rest upon you, rest upon your life. The scripture says, For my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy path. Women are not to rule over men, even when it comes down to the word of God. Paul explained this further in the book of Timothy and said that, For Adam was first formed, then Eve, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. Many people believe that women can preach, but according to the word of God, they can't. So, here you have Sarah Jakes, who is deceived by her own father T.D. Jakes and by her father the devil on the pulpit preaching to millions of people. What she needs to do is go and sit down and take those fake things from off her. Many women will follow her and not follow the scriptures. So will men also because they are weak and they choose to believe lies than the truth. The scripture is clear on women being preachers. The scripture is clear on wearing false hair and false nails, eyelashes and all these makeup and jewelry. But still, you will have a woman in the pulpit preaching with all these things and men and women look past the scriptures because they are so caught up in men. They are so caught up in flesh and this is wicked and evil. That's why the scripture says, Woe my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err. The people are in error and the leaders are to be blamed, whether it be men or women. It's embarrassing for her, but it's a good thing because this shows us that Woman should not be in the pulpit preaching. I do hope that she will look to the scriptures and see the truth and obey the truth so that she can escape going to hell. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this video 
and I pray that we all continue in striving to please God. Please remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.